<laughs> this type of adornment looks so good on you, so you think? But it seems that I misunderstood your words, his actions towards me. Let my feelings flow. This fury arrowed, forgive me, but I like someone else. Will you let me know who it is? In a moment, what are you doing? The one everyone was talking about. You are shiny. Huh? What a frogging weird. But wow, this is... I had never seen anything like it. Handsome, so you do this trick? Brother, I think I like someone. I'm so sorry you're crying. <laughs> what are you frogging laughing at? Where did you get that pod? Japan gave it to me. Wouldn't be cool if this really happened. Can you imagine that with you? The most logical thing is that babies appear out of nowhere. Can you imagine me with a little face? Come on, frog. Look what Venezuela gave birth to. You don't have to behave like that. Look at the kid who is cool. You're going to take care of him whether you want it or not. I think you're right. How cute he is. Who is the other dad? It has some red stripes and a blue part 50 stars as well. Uh, sweet. <laughs> Are you sure this is going to work? I say, I know USA. Stop UN, of course we are safe. Finally, I'm uncle. I'm here, what's the emergency? Thank you for coming. Ahead. Venezuela, what is happening? You didn't do bad, fairy. You see, the boy who has the UN? Yeah. It's mine. Oh, really? But it's also yours. Look, I know you're not one of those who want to have a family. So save yourself saying you're going for cigarettes. I'll take care of the boy. How the frog is that possible? Did you get pregnant? Oh, baby, I hope you don't spend most of your life in Latin America. Hey, Nazi, close your eyes for a bit. Why, though? Bet you're gonna choke me. Relax, it's just a little surprise from me to you. F for me? Yup. Well, okay. Be quick with it, you frog. What is it? Is it a scarf or necklace? When I grew up, I'm going to marry New Spain. So, you still want to? Shut up! On the 12th day of Christmas, my neighbor gave to me 12 feet of snow. 11 bills for signing. 10 pumpkins chunking. 9 ponies. 8 illegal fireworks. 7 black bears swimming 6 cheese a honking 5 Maryland crab cake What are you doing? You overgrown chicken You're gonna make me come get you, huh? Hello Apollo We've been over this. Ask nicely. You scare people. Apollo gets excited sometimes, but he's very sorry he scared you. Isn't that right? Oh, uh, mm, it's cool, yeah. So I guess we're chopped liver. He's trying to ask if he could have some crab cake, please. Oh, is that all? I still have some. They might be a few days old. Time is weird. <laughs> Hear ye, hear ye, on this, the 2nd of February 2022, we once more consult Punk Tony Phil, prognosticator of prognosticators, and ask for his predictions of the remaining winter season, as has been tradition for 136 years. 
Winter has been bleak and dark and bereft of hope. Yet winter is just another step in the cycle of life. As I look out over the faces of the true believers from around the world, I bask in the warmth of your hearts. I couldn't imagine a better fight with my shadow I have caused than a long and lustrous six more weeks of winter. Beautiful, emotional, powerful, a true visionary. Do you think he sits in that stump coming up with things to say? Or maybe he has a ghost writer? I am still struggling with the fact it talks only on Feb 2nd Groundhog Magic. Hey Phil, the other groundhogs are saying early spring you know. They're not the true prognosticators though. What's your accuracy rate again? 30s, not that I keep track. Percent? Hmm, doubters. Well see, won't we? <laughs> Mexico, why didn't you tell me anything this week? You know, you can always count on me, although you made me lose against Argentina. You know that I love you. Hey, what are you? Let's go, Chile. Visiting time is over for us. Let go of me. Uh, Mexico, help. Tell him to stop. Chile, calm down. Mexico, I need to talk to you seriously. Well, here you have me. Of what? Tell me for the love of the sun that you're not exaggerating. Then, you're overreacting? Come on, Mexico, speak. Can you let me talk for a while first? USA, you come here asking me questions like it's nothing. And in any case, what are you doing here anyway? Don't you have other more important things to do as the first worlder that you are? Ah, uh, I can spend a normal day if they keep telling me that they tried to abuse you. Well, and look, I'm not saying it's less important news, but actually, knowing you, that makes me doubt a little what the news told the world. Knowing me, what are you trying to say with that? Oh, come on. Won't you say anything anymore? Say it USA if you have balls. You know what? I try to be most understandable with you, but you don't want to make it easy, Max, so it's time to tell some realities. Max, you know very well that we have known each other for a long time, and like every country, you have changed a lot. But Frog, since 1945, I can say that you are no longer the same. Ah, uh, maybe because it was a time of war, USA, even you changed since then. Maybe I'm not the best person to say it, but seriously, you get to be scary at times and crap. You need help. This even got out of hand and I can't help but think maybe you... Just maybe. I'm serious. Since then you look like a walking dead. Oh, uh, sorry for the comparison, but I can't find another example. You lied and played the victim in this. Am I right? Perhaps. Hey, Russia! Mexico? Where am I? You are dead. I died? No, no, no. I can't be dead. Bakery was always my passion. I know it's a humble work for an empire, but it makes me happy. Also, it's home thing I'm teaching to my kids, so they can see the reward of the hard work. I try not to worry too much and believe in them. Even if I pass away someday, I know they have each other. Frog, stop eating the dough or you're gonna be sick. Hey. Don't be so exaggerated. I have a strong stomach. Nothing makes me sick. Okay, but if you die, I will not take responsible on your body. After all, even if they're very different to each other and the destiny seems rough, they're brothers and being a family is much stronger than our job as representation of countries. Yeah, I don't need to worry. They're gonna be fine without me. That was a great day. Many didn't expect to receive a wedding invitation between two centuries, but they still attend either out of curiosity or because they really wanted to celebrate that union, me included. It was to be expected that it would really be a precious event. After all, 
They waited a long time to show their love in front of everyone, to the point of waiting when some of their territories legalized same-sex marriage. I was really happy for them the moment they said, I accept. They are both my closest friends and I have seen in person many of the things that happened together until then, from historical to personal. I'm still surprised that I didn't cry or raise my hand when they asked if anyone was against their marriage. After all, how was I going to explain that I have feelings for both in the middle of everyone? Me Mexico? My prettiest, I have come for you. Come with me in this unforgettable journey where together we will explore the most beautiful landscapes and we will overflow this a beautiful feeling that great and misunderstood genius have called love. I'm not going to go on that thing. Don't be strawberry.